today i will update you guys on hey guys welcome back to my channel I'm super excited so i finally have time and energy to do this for you guys and i have a lot to tell you guys on why i kept you guys waiting for a long time for this part two video but you know i'm back now and hopefully i get a lot of content for you guys because that's really what i want to do and i'm saving money to get a camera so i could have better quality and all i have my laptop already windows laptop now i'm just waiting for you know to save for my camera so i could go ahead and get all this good footage for you guys but don't judge on the trash bag <sighs> this is my mom's jacket i didn't have any box or wrapping paper to do this for her but yeah i don't mind my little tree in case you guys are like why does she have a little tree but yeah let's enjoy the fits like no i'm just kidding but um in case you guys are wondering why i have a small christmas tree so as you guys know it's just me and my daughter and she's sleeping right now but um i think i mentioned that already she's sleeping i'm gonna take my shoes off and get a little comfy with you guys uh, so um i don't even know where to start it's so much i think i mentioned that i have a car now um, I'm practically married, just to let you guys know. Practically married, you know. I'm just kidding. I'm in a relationship now, and, you know, I'm so happy. Well, maybe in one of my videos, he'll be in them. But for now, we're just going to save him, you know, for the next clips. But let me just give you guys the tea that you guys have all been waiting for. And I'm finally ready to share with you guys because I'm healed and... It doesn't make me sad to talk about these things because, you know, there's things that we go through in life and they make you grow as a person and they make us better. So if you guys are like with me, I already got over my postpartum. So in case you guys don't know, now you do. Um, about like four years ago, I was in a really, really toxic relationship and it took like a big toll on me mentally, emotionally and physically. Like... I really went through a lot and I would just hide from it like not hide from it but I try to be I was like I was blinded by the whole thing and I'll get into a little bit with that and it's like I was about I'm not even gonna lie you guys I was crazy too for doing all this crazy stuff but um I think I was 17 when I met him my baby father I was like 17 and he was I think he was 25 and I was 17 when we first met. I remember we were at this party and he asked me like, hey, how old are you? And I was like, I'm 17. And then like, you know, we never spoke again. And then he would text me. And the reason I even jumped into this relationship, like you guys are going to laugh at me, but I was like in like this high school thing with this boy. And like, you know, when you listen to peer pressure, whatever the case is. Well, I had listened to my cousin, like, you know, just get, like, entertain yourself in a way, you know. So I did so. And, like, you know, my little dumbass, because that's what I am. You know, I was so stupid. I did not know that Aaliyah's dad was, like, how do I explain it? Where I'm not saying too much because words could be used against me in the future because you never know. Um... How do I say it? Would be on things, you know what I'm saying? If you know, you know. But he would be off things that I didn't know back then that he was like this or, you know, that he was like an alcoholic type of thing. I did not know any of these things, mind you. We met like at a party, so you wouldn't think that this person is like addicted or something. You know, you're just at a party drinking. You would never know. So then um, we would just talk here and there. And then I had just turned 18. I thought I could do whatever I wanted at the, point, at the time. Because my mom always had me, like, in lockdown. Like, I'm not even joking. I was in lockdown. I cannot do anything. Not even, like, cross the street by myself type of thing. Like, it was really bad. So, when I turned 18, I thought I could do whatever I wanted. Like, it's legal. Like, this, this, and that. Like, go partying, drinking, doing all these crazy things. Like, running away from the house. Not running away, but I was escape from the house. Like, she would literally drag my ass in and I would run back out. Like, I just did not care. It was crazy time for me. I'm glad I'm over that phase. Like, you guys don't understand. He had this, like, ex-girlfriend that he had kids with. 
and lost them. And then he had like this side bitch. <clears throat> She's probably watching my videos now because you know, some people just like to keep up with you for some reason. Like you don't like me, but you just sit there and watch my videos. I mean, hello. <clears throat> I don't know how you have the time of the day for that, but you know. Keep in mind, I'm this young girl, like okay with this whole situation. Like he would literally be with all three of us at the same time. And like they would post things on social media and I would see that. And it was like, I was okay with that. And for me saying that now, like me um, re-saying what I lived is kind of sad and embarrassing. But then again, you know, I'm not the first or the last girl that's just been through this type of thing. And, um, you know, this just helped me grow as a person. And now in the relationship that I am, I know what like my expectations and what I want and all of this. Thanks to this crazy person like i met this wonderful person and you know i'm living life happy as ever i don't know if you guys could tell but you know i'm happy as hell because i really am but back to that nasty time so he would literally cheat on me like the whole like he cheated on me the whole time like i'm not even gonna sit here and lie to you guys like he cheated on me the whole time like it would be um times where he wouldn't come home and sleep because mind you my mom kicked me out at the time because she was like oh you want to be in like a little relationship or whatever like you don't come home because i wouldn't even come home i would come home like three days later at 5 a.m like i got tattoos when i had like left the house and dyed my hair because mind you my mom did not let me dye my hair she would not let me do anything like nose piercing all that i did that when i was like thinking i was grown and things like that Mind you, I was not fucking grown. I needed my mom. And I will let you guys know how I ended up back here. Because this is my mom's house. So, after all that cheating and everything like that. Like, I'm not even joking, you guys. This one time, this dude drove like eight hours to go see this girl. And when he came back, he texted me like, hey, I'm outside. And my dumb ass went downstairs. Like, it's things like that. I was so dumb and blinded by it which like i'm so glad that i finally opened my eyes but you know when you're in a toxic relationship you're just gonna like ignore everybody you're gonna try to prove them that you're wrong and you're gonna act like you're happy but you're really not and everybody else could see that as well to your front and for what when at the end of the day you know that you're gonna open your eyes and you're gonna get out that hole and that's the thing too i dug myself in that hole trying to dig him out because i wanted him to be better and like i didn't want to be like addicted to things and like being an alcoholic and you know being off things if you know what i'm saying and um i was a young girl at the time mind you i'm still young i'm only 21 years old but i was younger then and i went through these things I made somebody humiliate me publicly, um, mentally and physically abused me, you know, because he did. And there was this one time that I was really scared and I ran out and I came back home. And the, like, you know, my mom was like, OK, if you're going to be back home, you cannot see this dude. And this isn't that because mind you, I'm a mother now. And if I would find out these things that my mom had found out about me. It would hurt my heart and i would say the same things but at the time i was like so blinded about things that i was just like being so rude to my mom disrespectful um i think i hurt her feelings a couple times you know and like i regret these things now because i'm a mother and literally i so get her now that it's crazy but you know at the time there's nothing really i can do i was just young and dumb and I thought I was in love or something. I have no fucking clue what was up with me, but I really had some serious issues. I'm sorry if this video's all over the place, but I hope you guys get what I'm trying to say because that's what I wanted to, like, you know, tell you guys a little bit more about me and like what everybody has been wanting to know about my toxic relationship, why I never showed him or like why he was always hidden and things like that i mean it was these type of reasons i don't think you would want to be in a relationship knowing that you're being cheated on daily and you're gonna post a picture with him or something because at the end of the day you look goofy and that's how i felt i deep down inside knew that i was looking dumb but i did not care i would still be with the person and it was like for what so let me tell you guys i came back home they left me a strict rule don't talk to this dude don't see him why did i still continue to see this dude i ended up pregnant and i was like oh my god like my mom's gonna kill me right now like if she did not hit me then 
you know, it's just an explaining that I was so scared because like they literally told me, don't talk to this dude. He did this, this and that to you. Like open your eyes. He does not care about you. Like it's because you guys don't understand. I would cry, literally cry, pouring tears. How this person like made me feel so unwanted and unloved and you know literally humiliated me publicly like made me feel so vulnerable i guess like you know <sighs> i'm just so glad that that's over with like i will never ever wish that feeling on anybody you know if you're in a toxic relationship you know you are in one like <laughs> There's nothing to question but that. Like, you know you're in a toxic relationship. Nobody needs to tell you that because you know yourself. Because I knew myself that this is not good for me. It's not healthy. It's not something that I want to be in dealing with daily. You don't want to sleep next to... You don't want to sleep next to a person and be like, oh, um, he's texting somebody or she's texting somebody or, you know, things like that. Like, you're just not... That's being insecure. Like, you don't want to be with somebody and you're insecure you know at all because you know you're beautiful there's no need to be fucking insecure you know he's the insecure one cheating on you and whatever the case is i don't even know i'm not even a love therapist or cupid or whatever the fuck but i'm just trying to say that he put me through mental physical and verbal abuse and that's literally the reason why I never showed him, kept him a secret and all this because I knew that I was getting cheated on. So it's just like no need for me to be um, showing off somebody like that. Don't be wrong, every relationship goes through arguments and, you know, little things like that. But to that certain extent and level, like it was just crazy. I dealt with so much at such a young age and i became a young mom i don't regret that at all like literally this little human being is my world and there was a time like before i met my boyfriend um like i felt so sad depressed you know and i only had her so that's all i needed that's the only thing that would complete me and Thanks to that piece of, I got this beautiful thing and it's my daughter and she's helped me grow as a person. Like, you know, even the way that I speak and everything and like I carry myself a certain way now and I don't really care. I don't need anybody to talk to me. I'm not here for everybody to like me. I'm just me. And if you like me, then, you know, but ah, my foot got stuck, but the only person I need at the end of the day is my daughter and I will always be there for her and I do everything I can for her because look nobody knows this but I'm gonna tell you guys and I sometimes I even thought about me even saying this but hey I'm gonna go ahead and out and say it um so like I said before I met my boyfriend I'm not saying that he covers my bills or things like that I'm getting sleepy and I'm hungry. Me and my baby daddy broke up. It got harder for me. So he would pay my rent. He would pay my food. He would pay my phone. Like everything. So at that time, I didn't even know what it was to work or anything. Because I was young. I had a job. But it wasn't really much that I had to like, you know, pay. Right? When I later turned six months, I started working. I work at... Chick-fil-A, in case you guys are wondering, because I know a lot of people want to know what people are doing for a living for some reason. I don't know. Hungry, bro? I am. Is the food ready? What food? I didn't get none of that. You can get that. Bro, what? Bro, I don't have no cash it. either. Wow. Go. Go. I was just going to... Alright, guys. Sorry for the chaos. Um, I ended up ordering pizza. But um, I started working... You know, we broke up after then, after that, and there was days that, you know, I would live check to check. When I tell you check to check is my rent, my car, babysitter, my phone, um, 
food you don't know how like some people just don't get what people go through and i don't think that you should be giving opinions on certain people's lives when you don't know them at all or why they act their sex act a certain way you don't know that you don't know what go happens behind closed doors and that's not a reason for me or anybody to treat somebody a certain way but you just don't know what people go through and like you know some people carry their feelings on their sleeve and i'm just one of them and you know many people have told me that and it's fine um i've learned to manage that a little i try not to show a lot of emotions it was really hard for me you know there was days that i didn't have nothing to eat on the table and growing up having everything is sucks to not have something one day and like you would worry and see oh what is my daughter gonna eat because that's all i cared about alaya oh i need to find something for alaya you know at least i'm gonna fry her a hot dog and she's gonna eat that a day or something like that you know and i'm the type to ask for people for help my family is there but at the end of the day i'm not really somebody that likes to ask for help i tried to figure it on my own and my business or knowing what i'm struggling with and that was another reason that i dealt with the toxic relationship you know i didn't want to tell anybody about it i didn't want to tell anybody about what i was going through I was just trying to figure it out myself, but I did not continue the videos when I told you guys because, you know, being like depressed in a way, going through the things that I've gone through, it's just really hard to, you know, sit in front of a camera and film for you guys, even though I wanted to, you know. Um, recently, I've been giving you guys some raw videos, and, you know, this is just things that I've been through. Thanks to God, He's always with me, and I appreciate everything He does for me that. I've managed to, I don't know how to say it in English, but sacarme adelante, like, my light cut off, and I was so sad, I was crying, because I said, how am I going to turn the light, uh, like, how am I going to pay this electricity bill, I have to pay for my car, I have to pay for rent, I have to do all this, and like, you know, the electricity had gone off, it was sad, because I had, like, as a mother, you just think, for your kids like i do not care about me i was just thinking like how i'm about to it's winter now how am i gonna have heat for her how am i gonna warm her bottles how i'm gonna cook <sighs> it was just crazy i wouldn't treat it for the world you know happy relationship the healthy baby healthy me there's food on our table we have the lights on you know it's just all these positive things i have a car that can take me to point a and b there's like nothing that i would take for granted now and i know that i used to be very ungrateful and i'm glad that i realized this because my mom had moved to texas she moved to texas for a better life for her mind you it's just me and my daughter my sister had her kids and it was just my little brother so her, um her and my little brother moved to texas there was no need for her to stay here because there was a lot of people judging her saying that she left us pregnant she did not leave us pregnant we're grown enough to get her asses pregnant so we have to deal with that on our own and i always wanted to address that my mom did not leave us because thanks to her leaving i was able to grow as a person and i knew that i did not have to depend from anybody that i had to figure things out myself so I'm very grateful that she left because thanks to her, I know how to cook now. I'm very independent in a way. And there's just so many things I'm grateful for in life that, you know, thanks to her leaving, this is like me now. And I have grown as a person and I try to be very loving to people. But the thing is that once you do things to me, I just hold grudges in a way. Like it's just so bad. Because when I love, I love. And when I give, I give. And when it's not being received back, you know, it's just kind of like, you feel me? But before I end this video, I'm putting the pillow because I feel like I've gotten a little chunky. But before I end this video, I just wanted to tell you guys that I'm kind of like in the clouds. I feel like I'm sorry for all the likes and like, you know. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be back with some more videos.